Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Mike Up Savages. I am here with Murph, and we are back. Opening weekend, uh, Yankees Jays game one. We got Hunjin Ryu versus Garrett Cole in the Bronx. Garrett Cole comes out and shoves five innings, two earned, eight Ks, five hits allowed, one homer. What do you think of his start, Murph? I thought it was really good, uh, especially since, you know, how cold it was. And, you know, they're just coming down, uh, up from Florida, right? And they're 70 degree weather every day. It's beautiful. And now they have to go back to the Bronx where it's freezing cold, barely feels fingers. And the new rule, no, no substance of any kind. So we're going to see. But yeah, uh, he did really well. Uh, AK, like you said, the only mistake, real mistake, I'd say, was that slider off to Oscar Hernandez, who sent that thing deep. For this ball, he's probably given up in a Yankee uniform, to be quite honest. That, that's a, probably a fair argument, you know. And, uh, he, yeah, but overall, he looked really dominant. He looked really good. Um, unfortunately, like, on the flip side of the ball offensively, we just really didn't perform that well. You know, Gary coming up big, really Two, just three, getting man. Homer and a walk. Two RBIs. Yeah, he was huge Gary for us. Kane, baby. He was huge. I, he got me hyped. I was screaming. My boy, getting us me on the too. board. Just letting it, letting it rip early. Um, yeah, but it was just pretty much, you know, Sanchez and, and uh, Frazier that night. You know, no one else really showed up. Uh, with plenty of opportunities. Top of the lineup really just atrocious performance. You know, LeMahieu, uncharacteristically, 0 for 4. Judge, 1 for 5, with 2 Ks, 5 left on. Hicks, he 0 for 4, 3 Ks. You know, Sten, 0 for, 0 for 5, 3 Ks. So just... Hicks looked horrible this series alone. We'll talk yeah. about that later on. But, again, everyone's just dusting off the rust. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be quite honest, the Yan they didn't play bad, the Yankees, that game. It, no. For dusting off the rust, they didn't play bad. It was a cold uh, day in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Just the, the extra inning bullshit killed us. You yeah, know? yeah. That's pretty much it, right? Like, the, the bullpen came in really well. Like, I was really yeah. happy with the way the bullpen performed. Um, Nelson, unfortunately, just, you know, not his fault, right? He gives up one hit, and that turns into a run, obviously, unearned, and then he settles down and gets three Ks, right? So, everyone else looked really good. Loisga looked really good. Green looked good. O'Day looked good. So, yeah, you can't be too mad at the pitcher. The pitcher came – yeah, kept us in the fight. We just got to convert in those runs, you know. Nothing you could do. Like, in Nel I mean, Nelson ended up striking out three, I'm pretty sure, right after that. So, yep. it's just one of those things where it's like you you take the Yankees out of the ball game with that guy on second. Uh, I get the Yankees had their guy on second, too, but mm. it's one – it's it's a make or break one pitch, and then you just give a – like, Nelson didn't even get a – he got the loss, but he doesn't even – his ERA didn't even get – No, he still got a zero. It's not earned. They didn't yeah. earn that run, so they technically didn't earn the win. I understand you got the hit that won you the game, but, like, it, that one's a tough one for me for game one, especially yeah. the opening day. It, it hurts going out like that, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, that's just got to come alive, top of the order. You know, we can't go, like, 0 for 9, you know. They had plenty of opportunities throughout the game to, to go and get that get that win, and so you can't you can't do that. So hopefully they'll figure it out. I think it was even worse than overnight. It was like one for eighteen combined. The top four guys. Oh yeah. Just can't happen at all. So it is what it is, though. You know, we'll, it bounced back in game two at least. Mm -hmm. So overall, I'm very happy with Garrett Cole's outing. You know, yep. as as, as uh, weather will heat up, he will heat up. I guarantee it. That mm -hmm. slider, one mistake. And that really, yeah. to be honest, didn't affect the game. But, you know, whatever. But he did leave that, like, middle, middle. Like, that did was you see like the stack cast of that? On a Bro, like, that was like, if there was a pipe, it would have gone straight down that He pipe. knew. He knew it was there. He, he <laughs> Like, he's like, shit. Like, as soon as he threw it, he knew he messed up. But, yeah. again, it was cold day in the Bronx. Game, Eventually, yeah. you're going to make one mistake, and that was his mm -hmm. one mistake, to be quite honest. Um mm -hmm. And then the other run that was earned was the error from Gliber Torres in like the second inning where he led it between his legs like on the sliding play. It was like an uh -huh. error, but you know, you kind of, it's kind of a routine play. You just got to make it or at yeah. least keep it in the infield. But again, yeah. it's again, whatever, you know, open. first game, open day. Okay. Game two, Corey Kluber's debut in the Bronx. Um, Klubot, the two time Cy Young award winner, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From Cleveland is now with the Yankees, four innings, five hits, one earned, five Ks. 
not bad for his a, a first outing right. after being with a shoulder injury, a broken mm. arm from the line drive. He had a stellar outing. Loisica, two innings, three Ks, and Green with the save. What do you think about the performance from the Yankees pitching staff in game two? Yeah, the pitching, again, was it was just dominant, I think. I, I'm really happy with the way the pitching's looking. I think Kluber, you know, he had re- – I'd say it was a pretty good it was a pretty good uh, debut in the pitch stripes. You know, it, not the length he would have liked. Um, he did lose the strike zone a bit in the – was it the second or the third? Third, yeah. I want to say. He lost the, lost the zone a bit. Uh, Matt Blake had to come sell him down. It was actually a really good visit, and the casual fan will understand that, but, like, that visit made the world to Kluber because if you if you don't go settle him down in that situation, that probably could have gotten a lot worse. Luckily, he's able to settle down, and it was a, just a good it was a good outing, you know. Um, only the one earned run, so that's cool. Five Ks, uh, walks for a little high, but I think this is something like you're gonna see like the next couple of starts is gonna start to ramp up again and be. He's really, I mean, he's looking really good. Like other than that one inning, he looked really good. Looked, that slider, nasty. Nasty. That bro. sinker, backdooring people, nasty. I was. Kluber so was there, and it was so good. It was, that that was like vintage Kluber that slider, yeah. and I was very happy to see that again. We look to progress that throughout his out, outings to increase that inning, get him to at least five six innings. Mm-hmm. Um, well, the bullpen allowing one phenomenal, earned. Bro. Over Phenomenal. what six, uh, five innings, eight innings, mm-hmm. and having six strikeouts across the board, like, man, I mean, I can't, I can't be mad at that. Yeah, Chad, Chad, uh, Chad getting the four out save. The Wise keep giving us really two good innings, three Ks. Uh, O'Day coming in, Lutage. Uh, you know, he gave up a run, whatever though. You know, it's not the end of the world. You know. Yeah. Because the offense came to life somewhat. It's still not like. The, the Yankees offense, we would like to see. They were getting hits, but they just weren't stringing them together consistently enough until, you know, big Bruce came up big for us, you know, getting that in that hit, getting those two RBIs. Sanchez homering again. Huge stuff. Need to see it. Love to see it. Judge had two hits in the game. DJ had two hits in the game. Yep. That's the Yankees offense you like to see. 5-3 mm-hmm. winning the Bronx, getting that first one of the year. We're going to fast forward now to game three. We have Herman's first start in pinstripes. Uh, pinstripes. Pin, pin pipes, pin, yep. Pin pipes. Pin, pin stripes pipes. in the Bronx. Um, Herman, in over, what, two years? Roughly yeah, it's, two years? It's, it's, it's been pretty much two years. Rough outing. The Yankees did cheer yeah. for him. I'm happy mm-hmm. they did cheer for him. They're giving him a chance, you know, after yep. his, his mistake. Uh Three innings, three earned, two homers, um, no offense from the Yankees. No. I got nothing to say. I mean, her. I mean, I do have something to say after this, but Herman, I mean, we give him another chance after this. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not gonna bury him on this. I think this. I think if you if you look, he was pounding the zone. Like he was throwing a lot of strikes. I don't. Oh, he yeah. didn't throw a lot of balls at all. He threw a lot of strikes, and I think that was probably like almost to a fault. He was throwing too many strikes, and if you see, he was getting ahead in counts. He just wasn't putting guys away because he was. They knew he was it was gonna be in the zone. He was just so, pounding it. Yeah. Yeah. So and I think he was just too amped up, you know, he's excited, like we were saying, two years since he's pitched basically. He hasn't been, you know, on a major league mound in forever in front of fans and, and he's got a lot on his shoulders right now, you know. He went from a guy who was barely gonna make the rotation. A lot of people expected her to be out the alternate site. He breaks on the rotation and he gets to pitch the third game, meaning he's technically our number three right now. Yeah. So that's huge for him. That's a huge confidence booster. So, you know, emotions were high. I imagine a lot of adrenaline. He was really amped up. And unfortunately, you know. And there were fans. He didn't get Yeah. It, you know. So, so it, unlike everyone else, they haven't got – that's the first time also pitching in, in front of fans. But he hasn't done yeah. it in two years. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it does make a difference. And I think, you know, next time I think he's going to look to bounce back. And I think you do, you do the Yankees aren't going to make a move until, like, if he has another two or three bad outings, then maybe they they have to make a move. But I wouldn't. They're not going to crucify him over this this outing. Yes. Um, I was There's really no happy with King. Sixteen straight batters Six. retired. That was nuts. He was on ninety seven and ninety eight. Dude, he looked so good. Like this is one this hit. Is, this is the polar opposite of what Michael King was last year. Like last year, it was like. The first two innings, he was dominant. And after that, it was like falling off a cliff. 
And the dude goes six innings, 16 batters straight, like you were saying. One, yeah, hit. one, one hit. hit allowed. Three. I mean, I don't. He was getting ground ball double plays. He was getting out, looking solid. Like He's dominant, bro. Dominant. And his his ninety seven still had the run of a sinker, if not <laughs> yeah. harder run. He was making them look stupid. And it, like this is a good young Jays lineup. And yeah. you know I'm not you know I get it. He's still breaking off the rust, and maybe Michael King's just ahead of the game. You know, being prepared for the game. But it's still like for him confidence booster after last year. He did good in spring training, but after last year, this is a major step and could solidify him in, in the Yankee bullpen as that long relief guy. Yeah. And he might even get a spot or two, like a spot starter too. You never know. Um, Why not? But yeah. This, this was huge for his confidence. It's huge for the Yankees. Um, it just sucks. We couldn't produce behind him. There's no offense whatsoever behind him. Um, yeah. But uh, uh, like King, King did his job. And, you know, as a, as a, as a Yankees fan, you can only just clap for him, cheer him on, you know, and hope that he can replicate this going down the line. Um, yeah, it, it just sucks. Yeah, like I said, our offense is non-existent. Who was non-existent during the series? Um, and, and Hicksy just having a horrible opening day series. I mean, he needs to figure it out, bro. Um, the only thing going for him right now is we don't have, like, someone right behind him who can take the spot immediately. Um, you could plug in Guardy out there. You could plug in Talkman. But uh, – yeah, it just he needs to figure it out, especially since he's in that three spot. That's a huge spot for us. You know, the Yankees want to break up the righties. They want a guy Hicks who changes up the dynamic of the of the of the offense. Because if you see, it's like straight like it goes DJ contact and then power, 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 power. Right? Yeah, and they're trying to put in Hicks to switch it up because he works a lot of walks, and I get it. But we may not we may need a change soon. Like I don't know if I could take a guy going up there, going. Getting ahead, three on the count, and then somehow striking out, like, or gra- or rolling over at a pitch that you can hit out of the ballpark. Because yeah. it's, it's starting to piss me off. I get his glove is good, but I'd rather Gardner out there who's going to work hard and is at bats. Yeah, you know, that's a little nitpicky. You know, again, opening opening series, you can't really like, you know, drive him into the ground with all of this. But like, you know, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. Well, after this opening week weekend. Mm-hmm. I'm happy with our bullpen's performance yep. and our top two guys going out there and shoving. Uh, Yankee offense slowly starting to pick up. As we're speaking, the Orioles Yankee Oriole game is going on. Uh, Montgomery shoved, but we'll talk about that in the next episode. Um, thank you, Murph, for joining us today as the huge. Uh, Gary Sanchez train is back. The hype train is back. All aboard. New York's best catcher. You heard it here first. You're damn right. Later, everyone. Have a good one.